All right. So today I'm showing you all how to do one of the best cruiser jumps in the game for either just messing around through your friends on Artifice or if you're playing high quota, you're going to be doing this jump on Artifice back to ship and even from ship to the fire exit. And for those wondering, I am using Imperium to test everything today. So when you go to practice the cruiser jump yourself, you can use Imperium by Geo. To turn it on, you're going to repeatedly try the ignition until it turns on for you. As so. Just keep trying holding it for a second or two and then trying again. And one of these times it will work. Then you have your drive, reverse, etc. If you're looking on a guide on just how to drive the cruiser generally, I will link one in the description that I made. To start off, the most important thing you need for this jump is that the magnet is turned on, so it's in the up position. If the magnet is not turned on, your cruiser, when you do the jump, will explode. This is not good. When you go to park the car at the beginning of the day on art, you most likely will put it in this corner. It is the safest place for the cruiser to be as there are no AI nodes that path close enough to the car to destroy it and it's just overall very safe in the corner. So what you'll be doing is you'll probably be looting inside, go ahead, jump on top of the cruiser, drop some items, or put the items in the back. Dropping the items on the side of the cruiser in V62 and up no longer works, so you need to either drop them on top or in the back. The next thing you are gonna need is Weed Killer. This can be bought in the shop for 25 credits, or on earlier versions, it is bought for 40 credits. And what this Weed Killer does is you put it in the engine of the cruiser by opening up the hood, spraying it, this heals up the cruiser, and gives it the boost. The orange bar is your boost, you can have up to 5 jumps. So you put it into the engine, once the orange bar is full, you have all 5 jumps, and what you're going to do then is back the cruiser up from the corner. As you can see when I'm backing up, I'm not touching W as much, so I'm just kind of letting it roll backwards naturally. I'll tap W a little bit if needed, but normally you don't need to. And you're going to back up until you hit the back of the hill, and you can feel it. So you'll hit the back of the hill with the cruiser. From there, you'll put it into drive. Once it's in drive, you're going to look left, and you're going to do two quick jumps and then three jumps to correct yourself. What I like to do the most is two quick jumps to the left and then a diagonal jump forward. So a W and A jump to the left. And then after that third jump, I readjust. If I just need to go to the left, I will do an A jump. If I need to go backwards, I'll do an A and S jump. And if I need to go forwards more, I need to do a A and W jump. But here it is. I'm going to jump twice very fast and then adjust with my left three, so. Jump twice. Four left. Left, back. As you can see, I made it on the magnet. I was very far forward, but we still made it on. So here it is one more time. I put in reverse. I'm only really tapping S here and adjusting with A and D to get my car straight. And that way I don't slam into the back of the hill, but I noticed that I hit the back of the hill. You don't ever have to get out of the car for this. You can just kind of feel it with the cruiser. Here it is. Reverse, hit the back of the hill, put it in drive so you're not right up on the hill, look left, and you're going to do your quick two jumps, and then an A and W jump, and then either two left jumps or a left and backwards jump is the most reliable that I've seen. So, two quick jumps, A and W, left, A and back. I didn't even need that last one, I could have done it in four there. But those are just your adjustment jumps after the first quick two. That's probably the most important part is your two quick jumps. One final note for this jump is that you want to position the car to the right of the fire exit. So you want to be on this right half of the fire exit. If you're in line with the fire exit or to the left of it, you're going to be too close that you'll hit the warehouse on your first two jumps. And it makes it really scuffed. So to make it easier on yourself, you're going to be on this half when you back up. Now, for those of you that are very bold, there is a jump we can do that we call the Eclipse Jump, because we only do this on Eclipse days. 
So normally you go ahead and you drive along this path on art, go to the right, loop around and park it in the corner then you back up to the wall and do your jump but on eclipse it can get really scuffed trying to drive through the middle when you have a bunch of giants dogs old birds that are just going to stomp on your car and attack you so what we're going to do is completely avoid all of that and jump over the warehouses back to fire we're going to go ahead make sure the car is full of weed killer Pull a weed killer. Then we are going to drop the car. Get in it. Always make sure you're in drive when you're doing the, these jumps. Whether it's this or the jump from fire to ship. Now people do this in very different ways, but I recommend doing three jumps to the right. So, let me put it in park. Three jumps to the right with D. One, two, three, right? Holding D. And then you're going to do a jump with D and S, and then a jump with D and W. And then you're going to hit S to br hit the brakes and hop out of the car at the same time. All right, so here it is. We're going to jump three times to the right, then backwards right and forwards right. So why we hop out of the car there is because the car can sometimes have a bad landing and bounce. And if you're in the car when this happens, there is a very high chance you die. However, by just exiting the car, it puts you in a safe place, and when the car eventually does its little bounce thing, maybe take some damage, you can just drive it into the corner. But then you're here at fire, and just go ahead and drive it into the corner as so. And one good tip for the eclipse jump is that your last jump, you want to have it somewhat close to the ground, so it doesn't create that car bounce or land too hard and have the cruiser explode so your last jump should be about when you are in line with the wall here so you're not going to be above the wall you're going to be in line with the wall or like halfway down the wall that's where you're going to do your last jump to the uh, right and forward your diagonal jump and then after doing that jump immediately hit s and hop out but here it is one more time we are in drive we're going to do three jumps to the right Jump backwards, jump forwards, brake, and hop out. Easy. So the reason we brake is because if we don't, the car will be stuck in driving backwards or forwards. It'll just be stuck driving in motion. But by hitting the brake before we exit, it's stuck with the brake on. So I recommend watching these jumps back in slow motion if you need to look at the keystrokes a bit more and understand what's going on when we're doing the jump. But... That's all I got for these two jumps. These are amazing jumps to get loot back to ship when it's late. You can pretty much take the cruiser back at like 11 or 11.30 p.m. if you really want to. You can wait that long and just do your jump, and that's all the loot. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.